I mean, I just, my God. I just sit here with my feet crossed and I just. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> Alex and Victoria's love story begins where all great stories do here in the South. Where the cheese sticks are double dip fried and the margaritas are over poured. In the neighborhood. We're talking about Applebee's. Where they were both working back in 2014. When I first saw Alex at Applebee's, um, I was kind of his teacher. He was always staring at the screen blankly or grabbing like one water to take to a table of 10 and asking for help. I would have never imagined that he would become a super successful businessman and one of my mentors. Victoria, you're just the perfect person for Alex. I know we always joke about you being a female version of me, but I don't even think a female version of me could do what you do for Alex. I love you guys a lot. When it's you and there's nobody else All of us Alex followed in the footsteps of many distinguished gentlemen before him and invited her to the greatest sports bar in Kennesaw, Mazzy's, <laughs> that place behind Johnny's. <laughs> there they commenced in a game of billards with all the biker gangs and Kennesaw dropouts you can imagine. Continuing with his class act, Alex decided that cosmic bowling was the perfect follow-up date. And yes, I'm just surprised as you all that we are still here today. <laughs> Lucky for me, Alex and Victoria have chosen to write their own vows. Bear with me, people, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. We're here for it, right? Mic check. I never would have thought over six years ago when we met, we would be standing here today. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought love was somewhere right in between a Bourbon Street chicken and shrimp and half price appetizers? <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, you are an incredible friend, a sister, a daughter, and now mother and wife. I've been writing my vows to you for a very long time. So I'd scribble things down when we were at other weddings, or I'd copy quotes from a book, or there were even times I woke up in the middle of the night. So I didn't write my vows this morning like you did. <laughs> Still crushed like, it. <laughs> <laughs> but as time went on, I realized that I didn't need to write my vows because as I was scribbling away, our vows were writing themselves every single day. I vow to love you even when you feel unlovable, to honor you as my husband, to be loyal to you, to support you in your endeavors, even when it means we get a 1985 Toyota van <laughs> <laughs> that never runs. <laughs> and most importantly, I vow to scratch your back every morning. If I see on my own, is a lot like a pair of New Balance. A lot of support, soul, and just the right amount of fashion for a middle-aged dad. I'm so, I'm so sorry I ended this with a New Balance reference, but I love you so much. <laughs> and now, by the authority given to me by the internet, and in the presence of God and these witnesses, I pronounce you husband and wife. No longer two, but one 
in interest, and in destiny, and love, and in life. What's yours is hers, and what's hers is hers. <laughs> Alex, you may kiss your bride. Thank you. For the first time ever, Mr. <laughs> and Miss Alexander Lewis. <laughs> We have prepared one another for life's biggest and some of the most precious moments. I believe we both shaped one another into not only the women we are today, but the mothers that we are. The love that God gave me for Victoria, Kennedy, and Mason um, is just about as strong as the love that I have for my own girls. And that same love and care that I have for them is what um, prepared me to be the mom that I am today. And now, just to see the boundless love that you have for Eleanor, I think you experienced um, between my daddy and me. So I just love seeing that special bond that you have. You just give with your whole heart and love with your whole heart um, without boundaries. And it's just beautiful to see an Eleanor and everybody that knows you. Can you show? God's perfect timing and you both had a lot to figure out. Alex, I would thank you for rescuing her, but I can't even give you that because she lost up and did that for herself. You did. What I will thank you for is allowing her to love herself and giving her the time and space that she needed for the first time in her life so that now she can love you to the fullest. I saw my sister take back her life when she was loved how she deserves to be and I'm forever grateful to both of you for that. Can you show me a miracle?